What would you do if COVID was gone, no restrictions, no waiting outside your favorite places to get in? This can happen. What would you do? I would, the first thing I would do is take my husband for sushi, all you can eat sushi. Um, the next thing I would do is have a huge family barbecue, all my family over, and just hugs and kisses all the way. Just that uh, physical interaction and seeing people in person. Now everything's online with Zoom and uh, just so many hours a day. It's, uh, it's been hard recently with everything online and school has been fully online now, but going back to school in person, seeing people in person, friends, family, everything, uh, that's what I'd be really looking forward to. Probably spend time with my family doing things that we weren't allowed to do. We weren't allowed to go out, so probably spending time with my families, uninstall Netflix and just disconnect for a while. I, I miss my personal freedoms. It's, uh, and travel. God, I miss travel. <laughs> we're going to travel. We have some family living in Russia and we really wanted to visit them last year. Um, so yeah, the first thing we'll do, we'll go traveling. Because during COVID, I think we spent way too much time uh, watching TV and being connected. I think we need to connect in a personal way. First thing that I would do is go in and see my friends. I've been talking to them online a lot and I'd like to see them in person again and get that feeling back. First thing I would do is hug my sister because she lives in the carry house and it's a group home and we're not allowed to touch or anything and we have to wear masks. So the first thing I'd do is give her a big hug. Get together with all my family, lots of hugs and kisses, big barbecue or a restaurant or just, just enjoy being with them. My daughter and we can touch, we can hug. We just stay here for the walk in one hour. Yeah, she have one hour to get out. It's hard too. But uh, we're hoping for the day to be all over. I hope it's... Uh... Okay, me and my buddies, shout out Andrew and Josh. We're gonna really go at this rapping. We're gonna become rappers. We're gonna really do it. We performed before COVID, a great response. And, you know, hopefully we can get back on stages now. You know, we did like some talent shows and stuff like that, so really go at it because, you know, live music like needs to come back. Probably go to the movies. Go to the movies? Yeah. yeah. Probably probably the movies, first thing. Also the mall is yeah. good. Right? What do you miss most um, about the movies in the mall? Why do you choose those? Movies? It's just the aesthetic and the feel of going out with your friends to the movies would be awesome. Yeah, the social setting is yeah. a really good part. Yeah, yeah, we call ourselves Super Finger. <laughs> It was a YouTube channel we started like a long time ago and then at some point we stopped making videos or we started just making music as well and then it kind of snowballed and yeah, we're doing it a lot and here in Burlington. Can you break into a rap right now? Here's a little, uh, <laughs> little, little uh, taste of your music. Uh, no. <laughs> Cruise, go in the cruise, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what uh, go places. That's what I always wanted. I never did it. I don't know. I would say a family vacation with everybody in our family, just us, and just vacationing and kicking back and drinking and eating and all that good stuff. Oh, number one trip. Well, got to get out of the country. Uh, uh, well, we were going to go to uh, Texas right in March before everything shut down, but that just got cut off. Uh, so I would say go to go to Texas, finish that trip, and then go on and plan more. And you have family we go. in Texas, or? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. We do. Portugal. Portugal. Yeah. You have family there. Uh, we have a house there. Oh yeah. Yeah, we share with my cousins, so yeah, we can go there anytime. But right now it's not not the best time, right? So. Europe, absolutely. Just uh, experiencing cultures and history, that's 100% uh, where I'd go. My grandparents. And where are they? They're in Moscow, in Russia. When was the last time you saw them? Um, two, three years ago. Yeah, so it's been, it's been quite a long time. And my grandfather turned 80 in January, and we were planning to go, so... We're hoping, uh, we're hoping we'll go uh, when my grandma turns 80, so... <laughs> We're, we're trying to stay positive here because they've never, that's their great granddaughter and they've never, they've never met, so. She doesn't speak English. Uh, <laughs> she has a lot to say, <laughs> right? 
Ты бы что хотела сделать первым делом, когда закончится коронавирус? Я visit grandparents, that was she said to you, so. Um, probably somewhere in Europe, like Italy or something, or also maybe Japan. Like that seems like a really fun place to go. Seems like there's a lot of things to do there. I usually go to the Caribbean for a month every year. <laughs> um, this time of year, I might try Europe. I probably go to Japan as well. Yeah. Why Japan? Where are you? Culture. I think just really fascinating, like the food, all that. It seems really fun. Well, the, the biggest thing is, is here. Used to take here to the mall every weekend. Since then, we never did went to the mall. That's the most thing. Yeah. My freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled a lot over the winter. Uh, my husband could attest to that for sure. I was working from home. I felt isolated. I felt down. And I felt like I didn't have a choice. And my choice was taken away from me. So I'd say my freedom is for sure by far. I miss my personal freedoms. It's uh... Uh, personal contact. Absolutely. Uh, just being able to talk to people. Just kind of like what you're doing, like talking to people. And that's important. Uh, you don't get that with COVID six feet away with a mask on. Oh, have all my family together and just enjoy being with each other, loving each other, hugging each other, miss hugging. Uh, the feeling of security, like being able to not worrying about my kids, uh, I don't know, coming too close to other kids or something like that. Just uh, the normal life, the life that we were um, used to. I do a lot of uh, karate and that's been all brought on to Zoom, but it's, it's different from going in person and actually seeing them and doing it with them. But it, it's, been, it's been good, good adapting and everything that everyone's done, but just get, you know, getting that feeling of community back again. Um. Just being close to everybody, friends and everything. Definitely one year into this COVID, it's finally starting to, like now you know more people who might have, might have got it. Like at the first year it was kind of like, you weren't sure, but now it's like, starting to get a little exhausting, this whole COVID-19. With more people being vaccinated, we could find a new normal where we can gather to see family and friends again or take a much needed vacation. Only time will tell. I'm Alex Pimpin Yacht. That's A L E X P I M P I N J A G T. And I just put a song out with my buddy Slow Burn. He's, he's a new rapper. He's really. It's called Last Week Freestyle. He talks about how he got COVID, and now he's he's been uh, quarantining for two weeks, and he crashed his car like a week before that. So going off, and my buddies and a lot of my friends.